closing entries. We can classify accounts as permanent accounts and temporary accounts. Permanent accounts run from one period to the other. These are assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity. Temporary accounts are closed at the end of the period. These are what I call red accounts, as an abbreviation for revenues, expenses, and dividends. Why do we need closing entries? We need closing entries to serve two purposes. The first is to update the retained earning account to reflect the results of the period. The second is to reset the temporary accounts, which we called red accounts, revenues, expenses, and dividends. Revenue accounts are going to be moved to returned earnings. It will add to returned earnings and the revenue account is reset to zero from the start of the new period. Assume that we have 100,000 of revenues and $4,000 remaining in the retained earnings at the beginning of the period. When the revenues are added to the retained earnings, its balance increases to 104,000. The expense account are also moved to the returned earnings, but they will decrease it. So if we assume that we have $60,000 of expenses, it will move to retained earnings to decrease it to $44,000. The expenses are then reset and are ready to start accumulating expenses for the new period. The same thing applies to dividends, which are moved to retained earnings as well. Assuming that we have $5,000 of dividends, it will decrease retained earnings to $39,000. The dividends account will be reset to start accumulating the dividends in the new period. It is clear from the previous illustration that closing entries serve two purposes. The first is that the retained earnings account is updated. Secondly, the temporary accounts represented in revenues, expenses, and dividends are reset to be ready for the new period. Let's explain that in the form of accounts. Let us assume that we have one revenue account which has a credit balance of $100,000, an expense account with $60,000, and a dividends account with a debit balance of $5,000, and retained earnings has a credit balance of $4,000. To close the revenue, its balance must equal zero. To do this, it should be debited by its balance, which is $100,000. And since revenue increases retained earnings, it is credited by the same amount. After posting this entry, the revenue account has a zero balance and retained earnings has an additional $100,000. To close expenses, we credit it by the same amount of its debit balances. Expenses are to be credited by $60,000 and since expenses decrease retained earnings, it will be debited by this amount. After posting this entry, expenses are closed since its balance becomes zero, while retained earnings are reduced by the amount of expenses. The same thing applies to dividends. Dividends must be credited by its balance to close it. Remember that dividends decreases retained earnings, so retained earnings account is debited. After posting this entry, the dividend account balance is equal to zero and retained earnings is reduced by $5,000. This ends with an updated balance of $39,000. Let's take another comprehensive example to see how closing entries are done and how they affect the different accounts. Let's assume that we have the following adjusted before closing trial balance. From the trial balance, we prepare the basic financial statements. Let's start with the income statement. As you recall, the income statement includes revenues and expenses accounts. The income statement is presented as follows. The revenues account is $18,000. From that, we subtract salaries expense and rent expense, which total to $10,000 to get $8,000 of net income. We will ignore taxes for now. Then let's prepare the retained earnings statement. It will start with the beginning balance of the retained earnings, which is 3,000, that we got from the trial balance. Then we add the net income of $8,000 and subtract the dividends of $1,000 to get a balance of retained earnings of $10,000 at the end of the period. Let's prepare the statement of financial position. 
The statement of financial position comprises of assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity. The balance of all these accounts are going to be brought directly from the adjusted trial balance. The exception is retained earnings account, which will use its updated balance from the statement of retained earnings, which is $10,000. The statement of financial position should now balance. The balance of the retained earnings on the statement of financial position is different than the adjusted trial balance, which reflects what's in the ledger after the closing entries, which we will be seeing in the following slides. The reason for that is that the retained earnings balance, which appears on the statement of financial position, is updated, while that on the trial balance is not. Let's now have another look at the accounts on the trial balance. They are assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity. All those accounts are permanent accounts and are not closed, while we have also temporary accounts represented in revenues, expenses, and dividends. These are temporary accounts, and those are closed. We call them red to remember them. Let's now do the journal entries to close the temporary accounts. Let's start with revenues. The revenue account is debited and the retained earnings account is credited by the balance of revenue, which is $18,000. After posting such an entry, the balance of revenues is equal to zero and the retained earnings balance increases by $18,000 as it is credited. To close expenses, the salary's expense is credited by $4,000. The rent expense is credited by $6,000 and retained earnings decreases by the total of $10,000 since it is a debit to this account. After posting this entry, both expense accounts balances are equal to zero, while retained earnings account decreases by $10,000. To close dividends, its account is credited by its balance, which is $1,000, and retained earnings is debited by the same amount, so it decreases. After posting this entry, the dividends balance is closed, so it is equal to zero, and retained earnings is reduced by $1,000 as well. If we now compare the balance of the retained earnings account and its balance which appears on the statement of financial position, you will find that they are equal since both of them are updated. Before starting the new period, accountants prepare a post-closing trial balance to make sure that all the accounts balance after the closing entries. You will notice that only assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity accounts appear. Notice also that retained earnings account has the updated balance. You won't find any revenues, expenses, or dividends accounts since their balances after closing is equal to zero. You will notice that all the accounts are there. The assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity accounts are there, but they are not going to be closed.